So those are little eastern red-backed salamanders. Salamanders are amphibians that usually live in the water or live half in the water and half on land, different parts of their life cycle. But the eastern red-backed salamander actually lives fully on land and breeds on land under logs and stuff. So these things are everywhere right now because of all the rain we've had lately. Because I haven't been able to have a fire in the fire pit for at least a month because of the fire ban, there was a bunch of uh, papers, like the bags from the cement from the barbecue in there, and and some wood pieces in the salamanders were underneath. So before I lit the fire, I lifted all, that all up to check, and sure enough, I found those three under there. Uh, they're pretty cool species. They eat a lot of the bugs and stuff in the ground, so they're beneficial to the forest, and they're extremely common, but rarely seen because they do live under all the wet uh, leaves and everything. They actually don't have lungs so they have to breathe through their skin which re which requires moisture at all times
So next video, I'll probably uh, level, level this uh, floor of the kitchen out. These cutoffs are certainly not staying like that. I have to fill in the gaps with sand or clay. I'm thinking maybe clay. Even though it won't set up, it'll still be more solid than sand. Uh, what else? Oh, the, my wife had a good idea for the solar panels. Instead of taking them out and kind of moving them all over the place and risking damaging them, what I will do is convert that rock cart that I made last year into a sort of a portable solar power station so I can wheel that around to the sunny spots with the solar panels installed probably permanently or semi-permanently and then the inverter can sit on top of the cart underneath the panels. Uh, what I'll also do is clear some trees out so I've decided I am going to plant some uh, vegetables next year. If I get enough area cleared this year I'll plant some garlic in November for harvest next year, next July. Uh, but I think if I clear this these trees out where I'm putting the next building I need to take some of them out anyway. I'll just clear a little bit bigger area so that I can build the uh, sauna, guest house, workshop and all that right there and then have some gardens all around it. Once I do that I'll have more sunlight as well so I can move the solar panels into that area. So lots and lots of stuff going on this fall and uh, hopefully I'll get enough done and prepared so that I can work inside one of the buildings all winter. So thanks for watching that. I really appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you at the cabin next time. Take care.